Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we are going to hook our Grandstream router up to our Grandstream switch. Everything's just kind of off camera here. So remember the eight port switch that we had. And then here's our router. And uh, we're going to configure the SFP ports on the router and the switch to be our uplink. And then we're going to configure our uh, VLANs to go to be routed through there. So this switch has some config, so we're probably going to have to uh, blow that out. But here we are. We're in the GWN7002. And you can see I've got the LAN, the LAN port here. The WAN port obviously is fired up, and I've got the LAN port here. So I have two connections to the switch. So the first thing we got to do is we got to figure out what the switch is. So the switch is 10.66. So let's get that loaded up real quick. All right, so we're going to log into our switch and see what's going on here. Uh, let's go to port info. And nine, you can see. So I'm just using a couple of Ubiquiti um, SFP adapters because that's what I had laying around. And so you can see it's working. Nine here is connected at gigabit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our VLANs. And we are going to go ahead and... Let's see, we're gonna, first we're gonna delete this voice VLAN if it's gonna let us do that, it may not. Yeah, voice voice VLAN, that's the default VLAN. We can't, for some reason we can't get rid of that yet, but let's do this. Um, what we're gonna do is we need to see what SFP one is. So, so SFP1, I think, is port 9. So what we're going to do is we are going to, yep, so it is completely, you can see that it, uh, GE9, which is that port, is good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here to VLAN. Obviously, uh, spanning tree must not be working. But let's take a look at our VLANs here. So uh, VLAN uh, 1 is untagged on all of the ports, which is good. That's what we wanted. So that is where we need to be. VLAN 2 here is that voice. That's going to be uh, tagged. Let me delete. Let me turn off this voice VLAN. Save. Let me see if it will let me get rid of that real quick. Now that I've done that. Let's try this again. Save that. Now let's see if we can delete VLAN 2. I didn't have to click that, but I did. Okay, so we were able to delete that. So right now, all of our, our ports are all trunk, PVID 1. So let's go back to our router, and let's take a look at our port configuration. And we'll go to LAN. And, okay, so port, what was that? Port 1 is our uplink on our switch. So let's go back to our LAN and make sure that port 1, PVDI, uh, PVID is uh, 1, and allowed VLANs are 1, 3, 10 through 11, and 16. We're going to um, change port 5. Okay, so we've got that portion done. So now we're going to go back to our, our switch. And we're going to set up the VLANs. So 
Let's pull up our spreadsheet real quick. All right, so we're going to do 3, 10, 11, and 16. 3, 10, 11, and 16. So we're going to do 3, 10, 11, and 16. Let's see if it lets us do it that way. Look at that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit the description on these. So 3 is our CCTV. TV. And uh, we're going to do um, tagged all temporarily. And actually, we probably only want that to be tagged on the up on the uplink. So which is nine. So let's do this. So let's uh, remove all and let's tag it on nine for now until we figure out what we're going to have where. So we'll save that. 10 is our guest. We're going to tag that on 9. Save it. 11 is our IOT. Tag that on the uplink. And then 16 is our voice. And we'll tag that on the uplink. So now all of our VLANs are set up. Now, the one thing that has happened here is that our uh, switch uh, got its IP address via DHCP, but we actually want it to be 192.168.10.2. So we're going to get to setting that here in just a second. I just want to make sure that everything is kind of copacetic here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the IP address on this to 10.2. And uh, that way it has a, a static address. All right, so to set that IP, we're going to go down to System, Login Services. And this is going to be our management IP. So we're going to go from DHCP to static. It's going to be 192.168.10. Dot two with a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, and 192.168.10.1 as our gateway. So we're going to say okay to that. We should lose connection to this. It should act kind of funky. And then uh, we'll have to redirect to dot two. All right, so I did just go up and put dot two in there. So it should log us into the same place. Waiting a little bit here. We're going to go ahead and save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave the... Um, Fiber module plugged in, and we'll make sure our connection stays up. All right, so I went ahead and I unplugged that other copper uh, uplink, and now you can see that our uplink is just port 9. So that's it for a basic configuration of the switch, getting it in. Uh, the next thing we'll do in the next video is we'll put our access point in. We'll configure our SSIDs. We'll configure that that uh, switch port where that's going to be, we'll configure switch ports for voice and cameras and things like that. And we'll throw some, some devices on and see what that looks like. If you've got any questions about what we just did, just a quick recap was we hooked the router and the switch together. We set up the VLANs on the switch that we have set up on the router. We allowed those to go through our truck port, our uplink port between the router and the switch and we set a static IP address on our switch. If you've got any questions about that, let me know down in the comments. In the next video, we're going to take it a step further, set that AP up, set up you know, some SSIDs, 
and then set some other VLANs on some other ports. So like I said, if you've got any questions about that, leave it down in the comments. I know sometimes uh, some of this stuff, you're like, man, this can be boring, but it's, it's critical that you understand how to do this. And it is a critical piece, even though sometimes it can seem a little dry. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Make sure you come back for the next video when I release it later this week. Links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, best practices for network setup, voice over IP, security, storage, uh, all those good things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Make sure you're subscribed and you come back for the next video. And as always, I will see you in the next video.